What's up guys, Corey coming to you live from the Tac Toys HQ here on the Gold Coast. In this video, I'm gonna be answering the question that's on everybody's mind when they first get into gel blasting. What should I get as my first gel blaster? Well, the first two questions you should be asking is, do I want a rifle or do I want a pistol? You will probably know the style of blaster that you do want to get, so if it is a rifle, we'll start with that one. And my personal recommendation would be the M4A1 V8. This has been around for quite a while guys, but it is well known to be a trusty, reliable blaster that if you did want to get into the game of gel blasting, you can do a lot of upgrades to. Let's get it out of the box. Here she is. She's a very basic blaster, as I said. There's not much fancy stuff happening with it, but what you guys want to understand is that when you get into the hobby of gel blasting, tinkering with things is gonna become your worst nightmare. You wanna start off with something that's extremely basic, but straight out of the box gets the job done. And that's what you get with the M4A1 V8. Really fundamentally, this blaster is what started it all for gel blasters. It is called a version eight and there was versions before it, but this is the one that had the performance that was able to take gel blasters to the next level. And it also has a lot of upgrade parts, as I mentioned earlier. Out of the box, what you actually get is one gel blaster magazine. This holds about 150 to 200 gel balls. You just open it through the side door right here. And I would recommend getting a speed loader. They're $10, you just tip it straight in, fill it up, put it into your blaster, and you're good to go. Secondly, it comes with an adjustable buttstock at the back. So whether you're short, uh, you're tall, you got long arms, you got short arms, it doesn't really matter. You can fully adjust it. Put it to where you like, put it against your shoulder, and leave it there. It also comes with this hologram sight. No, it isn't real. It does have a little bit of a display and it does light up. Honestly, for the price, getting this is pretty damn cool, I must admit. So what you do, there's a little button right here and it actually does come with batteries as well, I should mention. All you do is tap that one and it'll light up green. I'll show you here. You'll see that it lights up green just at the front there. It isn't too beneficial, but of course, if you want that realistic feel, it's awesome to have. Also note, this blaster is only full auto. So you have your select fire over just on this side. It's on your left hand side and you will be changing it generally with your thumb. So you have safe, the trigger doesn't work. You have semi-auto and full auto. Both semi-auto and full auto are actually the same thing. They shoot full auto only. If you did want to shoot one gel ball, just pull the trigger one time. It's as simple as that. The dust door here on the side does actually open with the charging handle, which is decent, but there is no function. This isn't a prime or anything like that. The internals, they're actually full nylon and really good quality for the price. A full nylon casing on the gearbox from when these first came out, it was full plastic and a lot of them did crack. Now we see not even a single issue with the gearbox casing. The gears themselves are also very hard nylon. You can actually run an 11 volt straight out of the box with this. So it comes standard, should mention, with a 7.4 volt battery and a USB charger. But you can upgrade without doing any modifications to the blaster to an 11.1 volt battery with a B3 charger. Now that'll come to around 50 to $55 off the top of my head, but that is the first upgrade that I would recommend to you guys. If you did wanna take this blaster just that one step up, what it does is actually increase your fire rate. But if you are wanting to increase your pain, please understand that the battery does do that as well because you're shooting more gel balls per second. So whoever you are shooting or whichever target that you do wanna hit, it's gonna be hitting with more gel balls. So that does equal more pain as well. The blaster comes with English instructions inside. So there's not much that you really do need to know. I've also made a video on how to put it together. All you do is go to our YouTube channel or the product page on our website and it'll be right there on how to put it together and a short review as well. I highly recommend this blaster if it's gonna be your first gel blaster rifle. Now, if you weren't looking for a rifle and you were looking for a pistol, you can't really go past the Glock 18 by SKD. This one has also been around for quite a while, but over the time it's been refined and perfected and now it's basically flawless. You really can't look past the Glock 18 if you are on a tighter budget because it's under $100. The blaster itself looks just like this. Now, it's pretty damn close to looking like the real thing. It does have an orange tip, obviously just for your safety as well. You can leave it, you don't need to leave it. It's entirely up to you. Black trigger as well. You also, on this one, you actually have select fire, which is also a great addition. You've got single shot and you tap the little button on the side. I'll show you a close up. The little button on the side, you tap it one time. It'll change it to full auto as well. Underneath here is where you've got your on and off. You just switch it over to on when you're using it and then off when you're not using it. If you are gonna be charging the blaster, make sure that it's always off when you're charging it as well. Now note, with this blaster, you can't rack the top slide. Don't pull it back like this 
because it will break. Your little magazine release is on the side here. So tap that once, your magazine will actually drop out and it's the same as the M4 that you just saw. There's a side door. That's where you tip in the gel ball. So grab your speed loader, tip it in, shut the door, put it in your blaster. Something a little bit different with this one, this one does have a prime. Basically priming means preloading the gel ball so it sends it up into the blaster so that when you're shooting there's no dry firing, it just shoots straight away. So all you do, that same button that we change our select fire with, so single and full auto, you hold that one in, that's actually your prime. So when you hold it in, you'll hear a buzzing noise just like this. Do that for about five to 10 seconds and then your blaster should be good to go if you fill it up with gel balls. Single shot. Tap that prime button or your select fire button. Full auto, and you're good to go. There's not much to it, guys. Very simple blaster, and for your first one, that's all that you need. Once you get into it, go into more complicated things like the Glock 17, but right now, if it's your first blaster, you don't want a rifle, you want something small and nimble and does the job, highly recommend the Glock 18. If it is your first gel blaster, of course, don't forget your gel balls and your speed loader as well. You do need them. If you did have any more questions about these two blasters, you can jump straight on our website and see the product descriptions. I've left the links to both of the blasters in the description as well. So click on either one and you'll see all of the information that you do need. If you have more questions, reach out to us via phone, email, or even on our live chat on our website. If you didn't think you could afford all of this, well, now you can, we have the pay it later system. Get both of these now and then just pay it off in installments as you go. This is Corey from Tactoys. Happy blasting.